Hi guys, the last section we'll be talking about in our circles unit is on measuring angles and radians. So a lot of things we're going to talk about are things we actually already talked about, things like sector area and arc length, but this time our angle will not be in degrees. If you did not know, there are more than one way to measure an angle. One way is by degrees, the other way is by radians. So let's figure out what a radian is. So a radian, what word does the word radian kind of sound like? Hmm. You guys, like normal, are so smart. Radians kind of sounds like the radius of a circle, which if it, that doesn't sound like it, that's where it's coming from. So there are two ways to measure an angle. One's in degrees, one in radians, which a radian, all that is, an angle that measures one radian means its arc length is equal to the length of the radius. So one radian, the arc length, is the same length as the radius. So when we're talking about radians, we're talking about how many radii um, are we dealing with around the circle. So we're, we're talking about how many radiuses or radii, I don't, technically it's radii, but it kind of sounds weird. But anyways, like if we have two radians, that means the arc is equivalent to two radii. Okay, so radians is equivalent to how many radiuses there are in a circle. So, yeah, that's where it comes from. So it's equal to a central angle whose arc is equal in length to the radius. So if I say like seven radians, that means there's seven radii. Okay, it's equal. If I line up seven radii next to each other, that length would be the length that the circle goes around or the, the angle goes around the circle. Um, but anyways, okay, so in one full rotation, there are 360 degrees in a circle, which you already knew, but there are two pi radians in one rotation. So there's two times about 3.14 radians or radii that fit around a circle. So two times 3.14 is a little bit over six. So that means if you go around the circle, there are always going to be about six radii in length that will fit around the circle. There's going to be a little bit more, okay, but that will happen in every circle. So if you measure the length of the radius, then measure around a circle, it'll be a little bit over six radii that fit in a circle. Cool, right? Now, I can reduce this down because in math, we like things to be in its most simplest form, right? So I can divide both sides by two, okay, which two pi divided by two will give me pi, and 360 divided by 2 will give me 180. So an easier way to look at, look at this is in 180 degrees, which is half a circle, there are pi radians. Okay, and we're going to be using this conversion because the smaller the numbers we're dealing with, the easier the math will be, right? Okay, so in one or in half a rotation or in half a circle, there are pi radians in 180 degrees. Okay, so this is what we're going to use when we convert from degrees to radians or radians to degrees. So let's go into more detail on that. Okay, so when we're converting with degrees to radians, so when we're starting with degrees and we want to end up with radians, okay, what we're going to do is multiply the degrees by pi radians over 180 degrees. Now what will happen, since degrees is in the denominator, the degrees will cancel out and we'll be left with radians because for every pi radians, there are 180 degrees. Just like when you convert from like feet to inches or inches to feet, like if you're given feet and you want to convert to inches, technically you're multiplying for every one foot, there are 12 inches. So you multiply by 12 inches over one foot to make the feet cancel out. Okay, so this is just a unit of conversion that we're doing. So the way we're going to convert degrees to radians is by multiplying by pi radians over 180 degrees. Okay, and if we're going the other way, that means we have to reverse this. So if we're given radians and we want to find degrees, we're going to multiply the radians by 180 degrees over pi radians because the radians will cancel out since radians is in the denominator and we'll be left with degrees because degrees is in the numerator. All right, so we're going to be using these conversions to convert from degrees to radians and radians to degrees. So go ahead and pause the video and watch examples one, two, three, and four. Nice. All right, so now we're going to talk about sector area, but we're going to talk about what the formula is when our angle that we're dealing with in the sector, our central angle, 
is in radians, not degree. It's going to be a little different. Okay, so we're going to start with the area, which is pi r squared. Okay, so area is pi r squared. So this is the area of a circle. Okay. And then we're going to multiply. Remember, the sector area is a fraction of the total area. So we're going to multiply it by the fraction of the circle that we're dealing with. Okay, so in this case, we're dealing with radians. So how many radians are in one rotation? Well, if you think back to this slide that we are just dealing with, okay, in one rotation, there are 360 degrees, which means there's two pi radians. Okay, so we're going to multiply our area by the fraction of the circle we're dealing with, which is ah, theta over 2 pi. So theta is going to be the angle we're dealing with in radians. So whenever you have an angle in radians, mathematicians decided to use the Greek symbol theta to represent an angle in radians. So it's going to be the angle we're dealing with in radians, out of 2 pi. So again, theta is the measure of our central angle in radians. But if you're noticing, I can reduce this down. If you notice, there are pi's in the numerator and denominator. That can be canceled out. So I can reduce this down. Now there's secretly a 1 in my numerator. There's always secretly a 1 there, right? So I have 1 over 2, so 1 half r squared theta, that's what's left. So my area formula is 1 half r squared theta. So that's what we're going to use to find the area of a sector. So we're going to be using this formula in example 5 and 6 to find different parts of the formula or just to find the area of the sector. So go ahead and pause the video and watch example 5 and 6. Alright, now I already know that I messed up something on here, so I'm going to change this real quickly because I just realized I forgot to change that, but that's okay. Now it's changed. Okay, so let's go back to the slide. Sorry guys, the demon cat's got me. Alright, so arc length in radians this time, which if you remember, arc length deals with a fraction of the circumference of the circle. Okay, so we're going to start with our circumference formula. Okay, which when we deal with arc length with radians, for whatever reason, instead of using an L, like what we used when we have degrees, we now use an S, which I really don't know why it's S in order, unless it just means side or something. I don't know. But for whatever reason, we now use S for arc length when we're given an angle and radian. So we're going to start with our circumference formula. So circumference equals 2 pi r. Okay, then we're going to multiply it by the fraction of the circumference that we're dealing with. So again, that angle of the arc, in this case, in radians. Okay, over the whole circle in radians, which is 2 pi. Which, if you notice, will anything cancel out in this formula to simplify this down? There is a 2 pi in the numerator and denominator. Whoa. So that's going to leave us with S equals R times theta. So our arc length formula is just S, so our arc length, equals the radius times the theta, which is either the measure of the central angle that intercepts the arc you're finding the length of, or the measure of the arc in radians. All right, so in example seven and eight, we're gonna learn how to use the arc length formula, either to find the arc length or to find parts of our arc length formula. So go ahead and pause the video and watch example seven and eight. And guess what, you guys? We're done talking about radians, which is kind of sad. But it's kind of like bittersweet, because we're happy we learn about radians, but we're kind of sad that it's over. I hope you guys enjoyed Radiance. It was a fun time.